why did the rooster cross the road? Why? To cockle-doodle do something. <laughs> you know what a chicken's best phrase is? What? Live for today because you'll get fried tomorrow. <laughs> what did the rooster say when he got his bill? What the cluck? <laughs> what kind of shoes do chickens wear? What? Reebok, box, 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 box. <laughs> Chicken butt. <laughs> what did the grumpy chicken say to his friend? What did he say? Please excuse my foul mood. <laughs> Are you ready for some excellent puns? Absolutely. Ah! Why did the chicken become a drummer? Why? He already had drumsticks. <laughs> what do you call chicken jokes? Yolks. <laughs> What do chicken families do in the afternoons? What do they do? They go on picnics. <laughs> and, and if it's a busy day, they have slim pickings. <laughs> what do you call a chicken staring at lettuce? I don't know, fouled up? Chicken sees a salad. <laughs> I hate my chicken legs. Well, at least you don't have crow's feet. What tree produces fruit that tastes like chicken? What tree? A pole tree. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a chicken in a four-leaf clover? I have no idea. Like the, the cluck of the Irish. Oh. <laughs> now that we've run amok and run afoul with all these jokes, today we're going to be making chicken soup. Oh! Many varieties of different things you can put in with chicken soup. One of my personal favorites is either to use chicken stock from a uh, powder form or just from the carton. Uh, I stock up on the stock quite a bit. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, we're gonna use two of them. Um, I You can use choose it for a variety of reasons. One thing to watch out for if you're looking for sodium content. Um, always check the nutritional value, obviously. It's very important. Um, typically, the chicken stock in the powder form will have more sodium, but I actually found one that has quite reduced sodium, so... Quite reduced sodium. Wow. That's a clock and a half. This one might be insulted. Uh, well, it's missing a little bit of salt. It is. So it's not as insulted. No, the charge wasn't assigned. So, we're gonna start with some sock for a lot, we have quite the variety, we got onions, we got some diced potatoes to add a bit of starch, um, got some starchy comments for that. Uh, we got some corn, just to make it more corny, got some carrots, uh, green peas, or green beans, and the most important ingredient, chicken. We also have, I don't have celery with me, um, celery is usually a good one for soup like this, but I have celery seed, which gives a similar taste to celery, and then we also have um, some cloves of garlic to put in, because what's soup without garlic? <laughs> Unless you can't have garlic, then obviously don't include it, because for obvious reasons. And of course, if you're a vampire, then good luck. Yeah. Don't stock up on that. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. What's the first thing we need to start with? Well, the first thing I find is always good to start with is the stock. So we're going to put that in our stock pot. So you always have to check what your inventory is with your stock. Since I didn't have celery stalks, I had celery seed. <laughs> now that we have a stock of stock, we're gonna add some of the ingredients that will take a little bit longer to cook first, which is typically the potatoes and the carrots. So I'm gonna add those first. The corny parts. Whoops. Don't knock over your ingredients or make sure the lid's on. Corn. We're gonna get really corny. We're gonna add some corn. Carrot. <laughs> They do make a splash, so be careful. Our favorite uh, TV character is Mr. Bean, so in honor, we're gonna have some beans. <laughs> Mostly for color, but you can choose to have them in or not. I like them for color. We're gonna add some Boohoo Stinky Whites. <laughs> Boohoo Stinky Whites. We heard it somewhere, admittedly, it's not our original. Okay, and we're gonna add the clover, or uh, the clover. Garlic. Cloves of garlic. <laughs> garlic in there. The celery seed. Usually I put a quarter, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon, depending on how much you want it in there. And then don't let the chickens see this because they'll be in pieces. Oh. Ah, ah. Don't, don't chicken out on the chicken pieces. No. As you can tell, we're just winging the ingredients. 
Typically I use about a cup of each. Uh, you don't want to use too many ingredients, otherwise it ends up being more like a stew than an actual soup. Yeah. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna put this on the stove um, on medium heat for probably about 20, 30 minutes, depending on how long it takes to actually come to a boil. We wanna make sure the carrots and the potatoes are fully cooked through, and we also wanna make sure we don't have a pile of mush by the end of it, yeah. so. And while the brew is cooking, we're gonna throw in some jokes just because we want to throw more in. It is a cooking show and it is full of jokes. This is what we call poultry in motion. How do chickens dance? Chick to chick. <laughs> oh, instead of cheek to cheek. Oh. <laughs> I have a chicken proof lawn, it's impeccable. What's a chicken's pickup line? What? I've been chicken you out. <laughs> <laughs> what do chickens call a school test? What? An egg examination. Oh. <laughs> what did the chicken say when he flew the coop? What did he say? Alive and chicken. Instead of a live <laughs> oh. What did the teacher call the chicken that failed the test? You dumb cluck. Oh, so bad. Where do chickens come from? Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear about the chicken who could only lay eggs in the winter? She was no spring chicken. <laughs> spring. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> the psychiatrist says, what seems to be the problem? Chick uh, patient, I think I'm a chicken. Uh, how long has it been going on for? Well, since I came out of my shell. <laughs> what do you call a scary chicken? What? Poultry geist. <laughs> there are some pretty terrifying <laughs> chickens in the barnyard, man. <laughs> if they get after you, if they get mad and they chase you, dang. Why do hens lay eggs? Why? Because if they drop them, they break. <laughs> How do chickens get around town? I have no idea. Driving the express lane. Oh. What day of the week do chickens hate most? What? Friday. Of course. <laughs> How do chickens tell time? How? One o'clock, two o'clock, <laughs> three o'clock. What did the bad chicken lay? A deviled egg. 